Uh, my children were taken in July of 2014 on a vacation to Japan. I, I went to Japan to try to get them to come back uh, in October of 2014, was not successful. And um, that's the last time I actually got to see my children, hold my young children's hands, put them on my lap, carry them on their, my shoulder. And um, yeah, that's the last time. So how many we years is that? That was October 2014. So for eight and a half years, you close not, to it. You, yes. you have not seen your children? I have not seen my children since then. And how many children and how old were they at that time and how old? I have two sets of twins and my oldest set of twins are boys and they were 11 and a half when they were taken. Uh, almost 12 when I saw them last. And uh, my youngest set of twins are a boy and a girl and they were six and a half-ish. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so those are the ages. Okay. Uh, did they communicate with you from Japan? Uh, did your son write to you or what happened? Can you explain? When, right, when, I, when they first got there, we did a lot of FaceTime and uh, a couple of times a week. And then when the longer they were there, the communication got further apart and the individual communications themselves or sessions on FaceTime got shorter mm -hmm. and more hurried. Mm -hmm. And it was quite obvious in talking to them mm -hmm. that since we're on video, you can see what I'm doing. But when they were talking to me, they'd look at me and they'd keep doing this. Yes. So there. And not... so it was pretty obvious that they were being watched. Yes. Or monitored and yes. very uncomfortable yes. and not very forthright. Yes. And then suddenly in August of 2015, they stopped talking to me altogether, wouldn't take calls, didn't want to FaceTime. And that was the beginning of no contact. Got it. Um, so when... How Can I touch on a point here? Yeah, sure. So I think this really goes to show something important. Some people will assume if your children are abducted in any country, they'll turn 18, they'll come back home. You know, they'll come back to dad or mom. But the reality is that these children are brainwashed. Uh, they're with one parent. That parent is very angry at the other parent for reasons, you know, between the two parents it should be. And they brainwash their children. Um, one of my older sons, at, shortly after being brought to Japan, sent me a note on a like a little recipe card. And it was like scribbled, almost looks like a ransom note, to be quite honest. Um, and he just simply said, you know, I, I miss you. I love you. Wish you were here and love. And he said his name, wrote his name. Okay. That same child. That was after how within, long? What? That was after how long? Uh, it was after being a month or two there. Okay. Wrote me this note, this letter. And then that in, same child within in, in two 2014, years. In 2014. 2014, he wrote that. And in court filings. I have a letter filed um, as part of the discovery mm -hmm. or affidavits, uh, evidence in our court hearings that that same child uh, wrote, wrote a letter to the U.S. Embassy in his name saying that I'm no longer his father. He doesn't want me ever to talk to me again. And he's begging the U.S. government to make me stop and he wishes I was dead.